everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Crusader Kings 2, where last time, we became the Child King. The Child King, what's his name again? King Ricklefer of Ostlandet the First. He's 15, he's one year away from finally becoming an adult. Uh, he is betrothed to Linda, who is a genius, and Ostlandet is slowly taking over all of Norway, with Nor uh, Naumadal and Nordland really to go, and I believe they're actually under the same uh, ruler right now which is going to make things a little easier. On the flip side, uh, I wanted just to say I'm actually really happy that this series has been as successful as it has. Uh, seeing the views actually kind of about half, maybe a little bit more than half of what Zomboid gets dictates a successful uh, a successful series for for me. So the fact that you guys are liking this, I'm really happy and I'm glad I'm able to make this what is potentially a relatively boring thing to watch really exciting. So, we'll do a quick recap real quick. Um, so we are able to now create the title. Uh, we can create a title, The Duchy of Veslandit. The problem is, or the reason rather, I'm not going to do this is because of the Gavelkind succession. With Gavelkind succession, um, when my leader dies, it gets split up among, amongst all of my siblings, or the, uh, the, the going from oldest to young, youngest. On the flip side, one of my half-brothers uh, was put in prison because he had, um, he was... What do you call it? Uh, part of an uh, a faction that was to put him on the throne over me. Now I'm actually really happy he got put in prison because he has a couple of uh, really really good traits. Particularly as the strong trait, so he's going to have a, a bonus to diplomacy and martial skill, as well as being relatively fertile and really healthy. Uh, on the other hand, he's also kind, so an extra bonus to diplomacy. So not only do people like him, but he would eventually become a very strong and diplomatic ruler. But making sure he's in prison will make sure that he do that doesn't end up happening. Now, of course, he's craven, so he's a bit of a, a coward, kind of counteracting the strong trait a little bit. And he's an honest bastard, which makes his diplomacy even higher than it should be. But luckily, uh, he has no diplomacy right now because he's in a dungeon, which is good. Uh, otherwise, he would have, let's see, six. But he'd have a, a, a four... A base of five, so he'd have 11 minus, he'd have a nine diplomacy straight out of the gate without any bonuses uh, other than his initial traits before even hitting the age of 16. So we're, we're happy that that's actually able to take under control. Uh, our council, for the most part, is mostly trustworthy. Our spy master is actually our most important aspect right here, and he's very trustworthy after uh, an honorary title and a couple of other things that I was able to give him as well as like a. a he was also, I believe, I gave him an honorary title. And I gave him a little bit of money. He's a little sick right now. I'm hoping that doesn't end up biting him in the ass because I'd like to see that not happen uh, to him. He's actually good to have on my side. My marshal is Heralder, which is really good. He's still relatively young. And he's, in a, he's a beast of a man. So I'm hoping his children are going to be relatively beastly as well. Oh, his child is my rival. Ooh, that's actually kind of a problem. Um, we may have to end up assassinating him in due time, but without further ado, let's hit unpause and let's get back to it. So one of the things we want to do here is, is march on the lands uh, up this way. Now we can, of course, raise about almost 2,000 troops. Uh, it's not fair. Every peasant child, chill, every peasant children have nicer things than I do. So I'm going to get the envious trait, which is going to drop my diplomacy by one, but bring up my intrigue by two. Uh, not really worth the trade just because... My guardian gave me a stern talking to about the deadly sin of envy. I still need that wooden sword. Uh, do I lose envious? I do lose envious and I gained content. That is a problem. My character is now content. Luckily, we're still under the regent's rule. So we going to war is going to be something we're going to end up doing before my character hits the age of 16. Because I do like to roleplay a little bit. With him being content, I don't see him wanting to expand his kingdom. He's content in his lot in life. Uh, before that happens, Heraldr knows that he's content, and being his regent, he's gonna say, that ain't happening, let's go to war right now. Um, so we're gonna declare war, we're gonna offer vacillation, he's gonna say no. We can't declare war, oh, we can't declare war because we can't become, we don't have any ambitions yet. No ambition is to become the king of Norway, so we're stuck unless we do that. Uh, that's a problem. Let's see. Now, if there was an heir that was lost, we can't assassinate him either. Oh, that actually is so upsetting. I was going to see maybe we could plot to kill off his heir, and then when he dies, we may inherit or somebody inherits. But that is not the case, which is actually kind of a problem, like I said. Uh, brings about a lot, a little bit of uh, some, some issues. Let's take a look over here. 
I climb the highest tree, visit the graveyard at midnight, collect spiders and snakes. Oh, I gained Brave. That is really good. Martial skill is going to go up, which is excellent. Brave is such a good trait to have. Um, let's see. Does any of our vassals or our court have anything we can press? I know there's a quick way to look at it, but I don't know how that is. So let's take a look. Linda, my guardian, not necessarily able to. Uh, our courtier, she doesn't have anything. I guess we could just go down the list of things. Now, what about Heralder? Does Heralder have anything he can press? He doesn't, which is unfortunate. Because um, we can press claims on, on behalf of our our court, and doing that will g give them land but make them our vassals. So, potentially pressing claims for them is, is going to be a good thing. Uh, I wish there was a better way to do this. I really do. But, uh, and I'm sure there is, but I just can't find it. Uh, who is this? My half-brother, who is Petty, Kingdom of Oslandit. He has the claim. Uh, my liege, I write to you with bad news from Arkansas. My efforts to squeeze some extra taxes out of the population have met resistance, and the peasants are arming themselves. I fear we may have a revolt on our hands. Uh, looks like these people are not going to like us all that much. What we're going to do is we're going to send our marshal to suppress revolts. Where's our tax collector? Is that him right there? Where's our tax collector? He's doing a horrible job. He's over there. We're going to do... We'll have him research economy tech while he's there. We're going to suppress revolts for now. We just have to make sure that no revolts happen. I'm too young for this. We don't really want this to happen quite yet. Um, what we could do while we wait to become of, to come of age... Actually, you know what? I, I've got an idea. Let's uh, let's keep playing here. And when I turn 16 and get married and all that good stuff, I've got an idea. I've got a really cool little plan. Oh, look at this. This is kind of going uh, nicely. Can we declare war on them? No. We could offer to join their war, but what, what point is that? Mm, I just want to offer vacillation to them, but they don't want it. How's Gilead? No. Offer to join war. Claim Scotland. This cost of bill can be used by Prince Bered. So we could join the war on different ends here. No need for that. I just want to turn 16. As soon as we turn 16, I'll be happy. When is my birthday? In November. We're getting there. Close. Once we turn 16, things are going to be good. And we're going to... We are betrothed to Linda, who is actually teaching us. That's kind of funny. I'm hoping she can give us children before I get too old. Uh, her husband was... Oh, yeah, that's right. And we took her. And she likes us. She likes us a decent amount. Lost award, short reign. That's fine. No big deal. We could send her a gift, but it's fine. Uh-oh. Uh, let's see. Has inherited the county of Telemark, my vassal. Whoever this guy is in Karen and Telemark. He died a natural death at the age of 44. That is a problem. So our next cool best guy is going to be this dude right here. He doesn't like us all that much, to be honest with you. Um, let's see if we can invite a noble to court. Hopefully he'll get a little bit better. We're going to pause this. We'll invite it. I don't know if that's going to actually end up doing much for us. Let's hope. It does not look like we did. We are going to turn uh, age. All right. We're going to pause it here. The Regency for King. King King? King King Ricklefer of Awesome Dead has ended. All right, it was nice. King Ricklefer of Awesome Dead is now a legal age and became a naive appeaser. I look kind of cool, at least. Um, let's see. Rulers unmarried, betrothed can marry. We'll send it off. We can collect uh, whatever. We lost PD, uh, like 200 PD from that, so we're going to take prestige. Uh, we lost 200 prestige, rather. We can pick an ambition now, which is nice. My wife is getting kind of old, but uh, we are okay. We can become the king of Norway. You know, let's become the king of Norway. You know, he's content with his lot in life, but he's also a brave man. He loved his father, and he knew what his father wanted, and he never got to see it. So I could see him taking the king of Norway. Uh, we're also going to appoint this guy as our... Wonderful uh, spy master. Who is this guy? He's the mayor of Oslo. Um, we can give him an honor, award him a, a. We can give him this as our reward. But first and foremost, we are 16, and we must celebrate becoming 16 years old. And by celebrate, I mean we must go on a Viking raid. 
we have aged, and the coming of age dictates that we must become a man through battle. And with battle comes, uh, comes raiding and glory and money, and that is what we're going to do, and I think that's going to make that a tradition as we play. Every time some, we have a new king that comes of age, we must go to battle. So I could see uh, this being a ton of fun doing that. So let's uh, check out the religions. We're going to go somewhere Catholic, I think. We could go somewhere really cool. Let's take a look. Where can we go? Where can we go? I guess we can go over here. Uh, let's pop up in the diplomacy thing. Let's get all our troops kind of together. Let's raise our fleet levies. And let's get everything over here. Can we uh, drag some boats? There we go. We can even drag all these boats over here. Everything's gonna come over. We're gonna put everything in. We're gonna dock everything up and get everybody together. And then we're gonna go raiding. And worst comes to worst, we have to head home. But we need money. Money is good. Money is power, etc., etc. Um, and I'm thinking we're gonna head over here. I think it might be a good idea to head over here. Uh, the Catholic faith, faith is not a big deal. We can go over here and head to Hit Mercia. We might as well collect some cash. Let's, uh, let's just quickly dock up. We'll merge our fleets. We'll merge our men and make them there. And then we'll uh, embark. And then we'll drag our men over to Mercia. To the wash. And we'll start raiding Mercia as they're in war. That's what we are. We're fearsome warriors. And we can do such. There we go. And now we can start raiding. We're going to see gold slowly start to go up. And it's going to tick away as time goes on. It is our birthday raid. We are going to become the Viking that people are afraid of. Again, he's content to be a Viking. Large numbers of people in a confided area. The attack weakens. We lose 5% of our troops. No big deal. That's fine. And they're not going to be able to do anything. They can try and attack us. We're not trying to take their land. We're just trying to take their money. And, uh, well, we, we desperately need it. One child lacks a guardian. Who is it? My half-sister. I love my half-sister. I'll educate my half-sister. Educate her myself. Actually, you know what? My wife will because she's a wonderful woman. She is a wonderful woman. We can marry off my sister when she becomes of age uh, for an alliance of some sort with some nearby region. Potentially even... Uh, we're going to take a 1% losses. But we're potentially even heading over here and allying with Sweden through marriage because uh, that would probably be good. Uh, potentially, you know, gaining a claim through a son of theirs. Let's see. Uh, your experience in matters of war has increased, and there are many things you will do differently in future battles. What will I focus on? Master flat terrain. Well, I don't come from a flat terrained area. Uh, I would think uh, focus on heavy infantry, which is going to give us heavy infantry troops. Light foot. Let's do light. Light troops, because I think right now that's mostly what we have. Oh, we're fighting a big war here. I didn't even realize they actually came marching back. That's a problem. What do we have? Mostly... Actually, we have mostly heavy infantry, so we'll do heavy infantry. Oh, after years of camp planning, Ralder from the court of King Rickelfer of Ossendit has raised a large army of exiles, mercy and hopefuls, declaring his intention to go off and carve out a realm of his own. No! My, my, my main man! And we crushed their army, which is excellent. And my wife is pregnant, even better, but my, uh... Oh, oh we're getting messaged. I got... I, I might have to end up cleaning up my, uh, my friend list, by the way. Um, I get messaged more often lately, and it kind of disrupts <laughs> recording. Half Dane? He hates me. He actually despises me. Is this the guy who is my rival? He's arbitrary, though. I mean, he just doesn't give a damn. So we could just make him... That is probably a horrible idea. You know, we'll, we'll make this guy our, our marshal. He's not the best, but... He's gonna get the job done, I guess. Uh, my spy master needs to scheme. There we go. We need to make sure he's useful. And uh, how's our gold coming along? We are gathering a good chunk of gold. We're unpausing it now. A lot of things are coming along. I'm glad my wife is pregnant, to be honest with you. With my wife being pregnant... Oh my god. Pardon me while I uh, sign off of this. I apologize. Guys, if I am... If you see me playing a game, just assume I'm recording. All right, surrender comes sooner. We actually were able to do a number to their troops. Uh, my beloved mother, Gela, is concerned that she will, she is still not married. I will find her someone like my mother is concerned she's not married. She's my mother. You're arbitrary. Why do you care? Uh, arrange a marriage with 
my arrival. Oh, that would be hilarious. And my cats are knocking over everything. Wow, chaos ensues in my house. Here, marry this guy. There you go. Done. Now, could we behave, cats? No. That would be the greatest thing, if you could just behave while I try and conquer and take money from those that it doesn't belong to me. That would be the best. Alright, so, we are quickly taking over. Uh, Heralder has left, which is really unfortunate. He became an adventurer somewhere. And... Oh, I'm a Viking already! The pillaging and looting undertaking in your name has earned you a reputation as a fearsome Viking raider all along the coast of Europe. Mothers tucking in their children from the... And for the night, warn that unless they behave, the terrible Ricklefur, scourge of the seas, will come ashore with his undead warriors. I am now a Viking. That's good to get that early to become a Viking, which is going to give me prestige monthly and a plus one to martial, which is also very, very good. Uh, super happy to hear that. And uh, with my wife here, God, she's such a good woman. So many beautiful stats. Uh, we are continuing to do a great job over here. We could probably dismiss these levies. Uh, two units will stand down and return home. I got a daughter! That is... Around treachery, ever the bane of defending the word of someone... Okay, so we, we... Somebody basically is treacherous on the opposite side. Um, we are gonna... Oh, my lead from Mission Upland has so far been a great success. So we are looking like we're doing well with our seer. We're increasing religious stuff. I don't have to worry about that too much anymore. We'll just leave those boats there for now. We are doing a great job. We are taking a good chunk of money, a couple hundred. All right, we're taking a little bit of hits due to disease. And another one due to disease, which is fine. They really can't do anything about it, though. Sacking Mercia, or we're technically Lincoln in the county of Mercia, uh, is great. Now, Norfolk over here. Is this considered Catholic? It's considered Norse. A daughter was born to my courtier. A daughter was born to Hakon, Aphas, and Gila. Oh my god, my mom had got pregnant by this dude. Oh, great. Mom, come on. Really? That's so gross. Let's, like, let's not do that. That would be even better. Continuing to sack the lands. Can't really dock here. Is the, is the gold still going up? I think it's only coastal cities, actually. So yeah, the gold is no longer going up. Let's head into the boat here. Moving into the boat, and then uh, maybe hitting, um, we could go to France, but I feel like that's just a horrendous idea. Let's take a look at religion here. Let's knock it down a little bit. Let's go to Dyfed over here. We can hit Catholic regions. Boston has uh, been looted. That's good. All right, we'll swing over to Dyfed now, and we'll start sacking them a little bit. They can't really do much. Good, good. If we get injured and get a scar, that would be really good for us as well. That would be really excellent, actually. Now we can crank it up to times four. The Spectre of Hunger, where they're losing uh, they're losing some troops. They might try to defend here, I'm not entirely sure. I wouldn't be surprised to see them defend. We've definitely taken a good number. Uh, they are probably going to attempt to defend. We might have to run shortly. I'd rather not get my character injured too much. Defending troops get 10% morale, which is never a good thing. They have a lot more troops than we do, which is what worries me slightly. Though I'm not entirely sure. A fleet full of loot has returned from raiding. Has gained 70. My vassal, but he's imprisoned. Uh, is imprisoned by King Rockelfer of Auslanded. Did How does... Wait a minute. I have him in prison? How did he go raiding? Did he just command his troops to do so? This guy actually likes me a lot. I could let him go. Spy master, chiefess, regent. Yeah, I'm gonna keep him. My father imprisoned him for a reason. Whatever those reasons were. I was too young to know. But I'm sure my father had an excellent reason for doing so. A fleet bearing some loot is returned. That's good. Somebody else is raiding and getting a lot of money. We are almost done. Once I'm done with die fed, I'll bounce. My liege, I've tried to make... Uh, let's see. Who is this? Mayor, Chancellor Vestfold. So he's done a my my Chancellor's done a crap job at improving um, my diplomatic relations in the neighboring county, but so be it. A fleet full of loot has returned from raiding. Toss of Vestfold gains ninety. Who's that? My half brother. Good. Glad to hear it. We are almost done with Die Fed. They are slowly losing the siege here. Is it even going down anymore? Yeah, it is. It's just going really slowly because our numbers have kind of diminished. 
which is fine. We just want to, I just want one more big cash in here, which might be pushing it a little bit, but there we go. Tick down. Now this could be nice and, this should be nice and quick. I don't know who was walking on my boats, but they didn't belong on my boats. We can speed up time just a bit. Good. He's, uh, my marshal, though mildly incompetent, has done a decent job. And we've got, what, one more before we can be done? Alright, there we go. We can crank it down by times there. And we can get out of here. We've taken a ton of gold in the process. So I'm glad that that happened. Now let's head back to our capital. All the way back. Sailing is so quick. It's so much faster than just marching your troops. I mean, it makes sense, as it should be. Um, but I'm just happy it is. And we can... Do it. We've gained 267.99 and .99 gold and 267.99 prestige, which is really, really good. Um, we can now dismiss our, turn them off of raiders, disband them, and disband everybody, and of course disband them. So for my 16th birthday, I went out for three years and became a Viking. It's not bad. My heir, on the other hand, is my daughter now, and she is a diplomatic and martial skilled lady. Makes sense. Um, we can go down to times two while we, while we read some of the stuff. We've got some loot and whatnot. Now, if we were to raise our vassals, we would have a long time, I think, before we got the... Well, we'd have actually about two grand worth of vassals. And, well, I'm offering you one more time. Become my vassal. Then so be it. Is it Namudal? Namudal. Let's do it. Namudal? I'm sorry, my friend. You would not accept... So we must declare war due to the subjugation of Norway. Raising all of our troops. And according to comments, we should do this. We should raise our uh, our fleet levies and sail across the seas. Makes sense. We're going to do a little bit of traveling with some boats. And all told, we're going to swing out this way with our troops. And we're going to sail. We're going to sail across the seas once again to march. Or to sail, rather. We're going to march across the land to mount the boats to sail over to Nalmadal and dominate him rather quickly. A fleet bearing some gold, so uh, people are becoming rather rather aggressive in their quest to dominate the world, it seems. Uh, well, my, my vassals are, are being rather aggressive in being, um, how you say... Grimmer Mason is now of legal age. You become an underhanded rogue, my half-brother. Too bad he's in prison. Or I should say, my vassal becoming quite the Vikings, is what I meant to say. Which is fine with me. Become Vikings all you want. Alright, and now we can merge them. Hit the boats. We're gonna do that as well. And we can, uh, merge them. And then we can embark. And then we can march out this way. He has 34 troops. It's quite, uh, quite a number, if I do say so myself. Not a very good number. But it's a number. And we crushed him. Wow. What is it? What happened? Why does he have no troops at all? Why does he have literally 34 men at his disposal? Halfdane Haraldson claims he would be a better marshal than Erica. This is my courtier. Uh, and that he should give him the... But this is my rival. Why would I give him anything? Now, now we could look at this two ways. I could make him my marshal and be, you know, kind of laugh at him that he has to take my... He has to take my orders. He's an arbitrary man, though. He might take, you know, character flaw, blah, blah, blah. He's, he has zero intrigue. We could marry him off, perhaps, to somebody who's really crappy and who likes me a ton. Um, or we could just say no because he's because he's mine. Uh, you know, we'll say give Erica a chance. We'll just answer diplomatically. We'll diplomatically say no, I'm sorry, my friend. It ain't happening. So they have 403 defenders. We could throw ourselves at the walls, or we could just wait it out and do it the normal way, the safe way. Which I think is a good way to do it. Paradoxically, a siege camp is right for bandits. So we got hit by bandits, taking a 1% in our losses, which is really not that much at all. We lost barely anything. Um, but we're going to be able to take Namadal very quickly. Hopefully he'll just accept our, uh, our, whoop, my wife is pregnant again. Hopefully this is going to be a son, but hopefully he'll just fall to our command and we'll be able to take the kingdoms from him without much of a hassle. So we had a victory here, and now we can just siege again. It's going to be very, very easy. 
We hit, got hit by bandits again. We lost another like 13 people, 19 people, somewhere around there. Um, let's see. Zvecker Opland has inherited County of Opland from Oliver. Uh, this is his son, I'm assuming. Because he died in prison. This is his son. He likes us a lot. He has, we have a female heir, so he's not too happy about that. And what? We got short, short reign. Oh, no, he's a title claimant. But other than that, he's fine here. You know what? Your father was a douchebag, but you can be... There you go. You're better than your father. I have trust in you. I have trust in you to be much better than your father. So I guess we have to march over here now and take this land as our own. Which is fine. Not worried about it. And you can't really do much. Uh, Snorri Matheson is now of legal age, my half-brother. He became a skilled tactician. And he's shitty. <laughs> That's not really that much. How's our, we, do we have a better spy master yet? Our half-brother. He's arbitrary. He's a child of a concubine, but he would be just as good. Maybe even better. A son was born, and we want to name him after my, my father. I would absolutely take that. Definitely. Um, the specter of hunger is ever-present in the fear of the defenders. The cruel arithmetic siege blah, blah, blah. Hunger bites. So we have a son now. Who is not a genius, which is unfortunate. Um, but we could, as I was saying, anyway, spy master wise, we could have my my half brother in there, which is useful. He would like me a lot, probably more than this man would. Who's doing a decent job? But let's put him in there because he's gonna like me about a hundred, so which is really good. And we don't want him to claim anything, so we're gonna have him scheming. We don't want him to hate us at all. All right, and we're gonna continue sieging the camp until we get what we want, which looks like it's gonna be any minute. I wish we would capture somebody. We need to hold a great blot soon. And the next one should do it. We're gonna pretty much take it under our rule. That's fine, the attack weakens, not a big deal. And victory, so we can pause here, crank it down to a times two speed, and enforce our demands. He's gonna hate us for a bit, but that's fine. We took it without trouble, and now, now he's going to love us because he was subjugated. I'm a diligent, gregarious, and brave man. He's also content, which is excellent. Holy crap, he adores us, and hopefully his son is the same way. He's content as well, which is super good. So we won't have to worry about this area for a long time. We can pretty much just dismiss all of our levies at this point, and uh, I'm pretty sure what we can do now because we're so friggin' strong, is demand vacillation from this gentleman. No, we can't. Strange. Can we create the title the Kingdom of Norway yet? I don't even know where it would be. Agnatic. Only males can inherit. That's what we want. We have a lot of gold. Um, well, let's check our prisons real quick, because I tell, it looks like we're not going to be able to do what we want. Oh, we should probably put another point somewhere. Cultural flexibility, majesty. Yeah, we want majesty. I think that's a good good one to... And noble customs, and feudal vassal opinion. Oh, yes, please. That's great. Um, siege equipment, we want... Improved keeps, which is what? Partially filled, a head penalty... Yeah, we want to make sure we can build better uh, castles. So I guess what we're going to end up doing here um, is we're going to up our castle a little bit. We want castle fortifications. We need to spend a little bit of our money. Take a look at our prisoners. We have three prisoners. So we can kind of hold a, uh, a great blot in, in victory of what we've done. I believe we can hold a great blot anyway. Not yet. One of the following. It must be March or November. So not yet. We can commission a runestone, but we're not going to do that yet either. So I guess this is where we're going to call it. We're almost there, and we soon will have the Kingdom of Norway. I think we just need one more land. Uh, yeah, so excellent, excellent. Thank you guys for watching. This has been another super successful. Our king has become quickly loved and relatively powerful, and his wife, who is relatively old, has bore him two children, a son and a daughter, which is very, very, very good for both of us. So I'm glad to see that happen, and uh, we'll pick it up next time. Thank you for watching again. And I'll see you all next time.